What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're looking at how to work out the surface area of a cube. Let's go. Okay, so a cube is obviously a 3D shape which is made up of six square faces. So we have this cube on the left and then on the right we have this cube that I've converted into its net form the net being its 2D equivalent, where the 3D shape has been folded out to be flat. And we have these two ways of solving this today. We can first work out what one face area is and then multiply it by six, or we can use the fancy formula, six times a side squared. And we're gonna see how they're exactly the same thing in a bit. Okay, so let's use the first method on this example. So we're gonna to look to try and find the area of one face. So let's say we're looking at this front face here that's facing us now. We can see that it will be here on the net. And we can see that one edge has a value of 3 centimetres. So therefore, if we know that one edge is 3 centimetres, what we actually know about this cube is that all edges are obviously, therefore, 3 centimetres as well. And the formula to work out the area of a square is simply just area equals length times width. So therefore, in this case, it's area equals 3 times 3, or 3 squared. So therefore, we have area equals 9. 9 what? Well, we have 9 centimeter squared. And we call it squared because essentially what we've just done is we have cut this face into squares as a way of measuring it. And we have exactly 9 centimeter squared with each one of those squares measuring one centimeter by one centimeter and in total we have nine so we have nine centimeters squared on the front face but we can see the front face is only one of six and the front is only one of them so now what we can do to find the total surface area is we can take this nine and we can multiply it by six and nine times six is 54 so therefore our total surface area is 54 centimetres squared. Now let's look at how we can work this out using the formula. The formula being 6s squared. So what this is saying is that we're multiplying 6 by one of the sides which is 3 squared. So we have 6 times s squared. So let's see how that's exactly the same. Well, s squared is actually exactly what we did down here, which is times one of the lengths by itself, so 3 times 3 in this case, which leaves us with 9, and then the 6 times 9, the 6 at the start, is exactly the same as what we did just here, because we realised that we didn't just have one phrase, we had 6 of them. And again, 6 times 9 equals 54 centimetres squared. Same answer. Your turn. Have a go at working out the total surface area of this square. Instead of using 3 centimetres, I'm going to say this is now 5 centimetres. Good luck. Press pause on the video, put your answers in the comments section. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, share it with a friend that you think would benefit from it too. But for now, peace out. What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're looking at how to get the volume of a cube. Let's go. Okay, so we can see these two examples here in front of us. And what we should know about a cube is that a cube is made up of six identical square faces. So we can see we're only given one measurement for each of these cubes, but that's fine because we know that this five centimeters for this length will therefore be the same for all of the lengths on this cube. And again, same with example B. We have eight centimeters, and that'll be eight centimeters for all of the measurements. So when finding the volume of a cube, we have this formula, and the formula is x cubed. And x refers to one of the lengths of the sides. Or we could use length times width times height. Each of those is going to give you the same answer. And we're going to look at both of those with both of these examples. Let's have a look at example one. We can see we have a length of five centimeters. So if we're following this formula, we would have x cubed, or therefore five cubed, and 5 cubed is essentially saying 5 times 5 times 5. And 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. 
So 5 cubed equals 125 centimeters cubed. Because remember, when we're doing this and we're measuring volume, volume is the amount of space in, that this shape takes in space. So we can calculate that by creating one centimeter cubes inside this shape, and then we get the total, which is our 125 centimeters cubed. So within this cube, we have 125 small one centimeter cubes. Let's see if we get the same answer with the other formula of length times width times height. So length times width times height. Well, the length is five centimeters, the width is five centimeters, and the height is five centimeters. So what you can see is we've actually just got the same question as we had before. And five times five times five, as we said, is 125 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at the second example. Eight meters this time is our measurement. So we start with our formula, x cubed. Input the information we know, which is eight. So we have eight cubed. Therefore, we're looking for the question eight times eight times eight. And eight eights are 64. 64 times eight is 512. So our answer to B is 512 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at what to remember. A cube is a 3D shape made of six square faces. Volume of the cube is equal to x cubed or one length cubed, or we can use the expression length times width times height. Remember to always include your units in your answers. Your turn, have a go at finding the volume of these two cubes. Good luck. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with a friend that you think would also benefit from it. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.